It is, sir. It is. See? Here's his lame pug mark. How long ago? Since the fall of the morning wind. Johnny, good. If you're right, you get two subs of whiskey tonight. Sub? For the most famous of draggers, your honor should give five. Two. Who sub? Hmm? All morning my stomach has been sick for lack of whiskey wine. Four. Is that up for three? Yes, sir. Jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I told you never to do that. Your Honor has the hard way of the soldier. Doubt this sub has been in many wars. Oh, one was quite enough. Was it a tiger that wounded Your Honor? Uh, no tigers in Germany, Bapu. No tigers? No. Machine gun that spits death. Ah. That explains many things about this sub. Okay, Socrates. Socrates? Socrates is an old philosopher friend of mine. Friend? Jolly good. He moves slowly. He's still carrying part of his kill. If he stops to finish it, we can head him off at the ravine. No chat, Sab. No chat. But when he eats full, he will come. The monkeys will tell us when. May I ask one question, Sab? Yep. Is it too many rupees for a leg like that one? Soldiers get them special price. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, jolly good. Oh, many thanks, Sab. Many thanks. Where are you from, Papu? <coughs> Twelve-day journey across. But I am in Rimley these many seasons now. I will never go home. Why not? Perhaps the sub will excuse. There are private reasons. Oh, I won't even try and guess. I thank you, Honor. I will die here in Rimley. Each night I get dreams that tell me this. You and me, Bapu. Both have dreams and private reasons. Whiskey wine is good for dreams, sir. Very good. Yeah, it helps. When one sits and waits, a sup of whiskey wine is refreshing to the stomach. When one sits and waits for the man-eater of Rimley, a sup of whiskey wine can be dangerous. Yes, with thirsty sorrow. That is so. <coughs> Mind you, um, only half a sup would be only half dangerous. A half danger between us two, sir? Oh, there's no danger. <laughs> In my hip pocket. Oh, Your Honor is a man of kind stature. Thank you, sir. making up his mind. He just did. He's cautious as my Aunt Matilda. When he shows himself, he'll be about a hundred yards. What is that? Oh, from the tea plantation. There's always something. 
Some evil spirit guarding over these bad ones up. Well, starting tomorrow, we'll keep the evil spirits off the road. If the government want me to get this man eater, they better show some cooperation. Tools of the hunter, Michael. May I have a look at them? The case isn't locked. You'd better ask your mother, I think. She'll say no. And that's the law of the land. But well, give her a try anyway. It's a waste, but I'll try. You can't run away from your dreams, no matter where. You try, and they drive right up to your door. Hello, Desmond. Harry. Harry Black. Go ahead, Bapu. You know, private reason. It can't be. Harry, this is great, great. How are you, Harry? How are you? Fine. A bit tired just now. We happened to drive over to see who the government has sent to get the man eater. And here, right out of the we blue. delayed your visit an hour. A Land Rover came roaring past the ravine just when we were waiting for him to come out of the tall grass. I'm sorry about that, Harry. Genuinely. Oh, well, never mind. We'll get him in the morning. Oh, you will. If anyone can get him, you can. There's no question about that. Desmond, stop. Why do you do it? Why do you always say things like that? I don't know. I, I guess I'm so darn glad to see you again. Oh, yes, of course. Well, I'm glad to see you, too. Are you, Harry? I'd feel a lot better if you really are. You know, the, the leg and everything. Oh, the leg's fine. And I really am glad to see you. That's wonderful. It's the biggest kind of relief. Well, then let's drop it, huh? Dropped it is. Wait till Christian sees you. She's inside. You remember Christian, don't you? Yes, I remember her. We talk about you all the time. Now it's your turn to talk. Well, maybe in a day or two. Right now, I've got to drive into the Tassilda's office and arrange about a flock of beaters. Why don't you go and see Christian? I'll go and see the Tussilda for you. Oh, well, all right. Tell him I want all the good boys he can dig up and... Uh, all the noise they can bring with them. Don't worry, I'll put some firecrackers under him. See you soon. Mummy, why hasn't this man more furniture? It's awfully bad for a home, isn't it? But this isn't his home, darling. It's what they call a rest house. The government lets him use it while he's hunting the man eater. Well, he probably lives miles away. Michael, I said you may look at the guns, darling. Don't touch them. Hello, Christian. Harry. <laughs> it's been a long time. Why, Harry, it's been ages and ages. <laughs> Michael, darling, come here. I want you to meet Colonel Black. Mister, hi. Like to have a look at my rifles? May I? Sure, go ahead. Help yourself. They're not loaded. Oh, Desmond drove down to the district office for me. Oh, Harry, he must be thrilled seeing you again. Yeah, we both were. Can I fix you a drink? Oh, yes, please. Oh, it's too bad you didn't know sooner we were in this district. I did know. A little whiskey, a lot of water. Yes, please. In that respect, I haven't changed. You haven't changed at all. Gosh, this is heavy. Have you killed any tigers with it? Mm-hmm. How many? Oh, I lost count. How old are you, Michael? Uh, I'll be eight next birthday. How old are you? It isn't clever to ask questions like that, Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. Could I please have some lime juice? Sure, help yourself. Bottle on the end. Oh, that reminds me. Excuse me. Lapu! Yes, sir? This is Bapu, the world's most famous tracker of tigers and philosopher to boot. Salam, Bapu. Salam, Mzab. There you are. Three subs is agreed. Now, look, uh, you sleep early tonight. Yes, It's going to be a big day tomorrow. If the evil spirits permit, sir. Mm, well, for a minute. You been to Scotland recently? Michael and I were there two years ago. What's the matter with your leg? Michael. Oh, I don't mind. It's a tin one. Would you like to see it? May I? Certainly. Well, it's aluminium, really, not tin. Does it go far up? Mm-hmm. Halfway to my knee. The knee is my own, but it's permanently rigid. Were you born with it? <laughs> Colonel Black Scarcely. lost his leg, Michael, being brave. I lost my leg, running like a scared rabbit. You say funny things. 
May I call you Harry? Mm. Oh, anything but uncle. Plain Harry would be fine. Very well, plain Harry. <laughs> well, everything's set for tomorrow. Oh, good. Help yourself to a drink. No, thanks. You get every boy and noisemaker he's got. They'll start drifting in about dawn. Well done. Well, tell us, Harry. How's life been treating you? Getting heavier and poorer. <laughs> the poorer goes to marriage. Saw your wedding photo in the Tatler four years ago. Three years ago, darling. Your wife is very pretty, Harry. We're divorced. Tell us about the tiger, Harry. You know, it slowed the plantation down to a walk. Do you think you'll get it soon? Mm-hmm. We hope to get him tomorrow morning. We'll wait for him below Rimley Pass. You too, Dad? Well, if Harry... Oh, now, would... now, Michael, you know that your father's needed on the plantation. Why? There isn't anything doing there. Look, Michael, running the plantation is your father's business. Shooting tigers is mine. He's not. He's everybody's business. He ate more than 200 people. And my dad's the best shot, better than you all. Now, Michael, we'll wait for your daddy in the Land Rover. Harry, I do hope to see you soon. Yes, yes of course. Of course. The boy's right, you know. The tiger is everybody's business. I'd like to come along if I can be of any use. Sorry, no. Well, that's understandable. Well, either way, I, I hope you get him. Yeah. Good luck, Harry. Uh-huh. Thank you. Very many I am also afraid of. Ah, that's better. Well, maybe it'll work out at that. Maybe it will work out at that. I also think so. You know, that's what I like about you. You're a man of instant indecision. I thank you, Honor. <laughs> you pick out the better rifles and space them. But, Sub, if the bad one turns to them, all the rifles, better or worse, will run. Now, the bad one won't turn, not with those elephants. Now, you tell this crowd to make the biggest racket ever. Fire their rifles, yell, and bang the double out of those butts and pans, right? Yes, sir. I tell them very strong. Hey, bye. <laughs> मिलकर इस शेर को भी मार लेंगे। हमला कैसे होगा? ये ध्यान से सुन लो। तब से आगे बैंड बाजा और ढोल होंगे। उनके पीछे हाथी होंगे और उनके पीछे बंदूकों वाले आदमी जो कि 10-10 गज के फासले पर रहेंगे। समझ गए? दोबारा सुन लो। तब से आगे बैंड बाजे और ढोल वाले रहेंगे। समझ गए? समझ गए ना? हाँ। एक दवा फिर सुन लो कि हमला कैसे होगा। तब से आगे बैंड बाजा और ढोल वाले होंगे, जो कि खूब शोर मचाएंगे। Hello, Harry. You're up early. I didn't sleep much. Plus, I got you a pretty good turn. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Shall we wait supper for you tonight? No, I'm sorry, I can't make it. Be nice for Christian if you could. We don't get much company. That's the worst part of things. A Christian, I mean. Sticking it with this kind of life. No one to talk to, no real friends. Well, why don't you pack it up and go home? I think about doing that at least once a day. Sometimes I even talk about it. Who am I fooling? You know me. They spot me at home right away. Well, I'll try and make it. Around dark? Harry. No. No. I always do the job alone. I thought just for once. I wouldn't ask you, Harry, if it wasn't important to me. No! I stopped bleeding for you a long time ago, Desmond. Why don't you stay here? Christian doesn't have to know you didn't come. I don't have to fool Christian. She also knows me too well. It's Michael. If he ever found out, and he probably would, 
got a pain in my stomach just thinking about it. Why does every boy have to believe his father's a, a hero? You can't know about these things, Harry. You've never had children. I had a son. He died one year before I was divorced. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. It's OK. Well, you better pick yourself a gun. 375 is the best. Harry, I can't tell you how. Don't. You can give your son the skin for his room. Like these behind him if he tries to turn back, huh? Yes, sir. Holding a 375 makes me feel fine. Good. Over there, huh? Good cover. Yeah. I'll be behind that rock over there. He'll um, take a bit of time to sweat out. How close do we let him come? Use your own judgment, but. Don't shoot unless you're absolutely certain of a killing shot. Hmm? Yes, sir. Colonel, sir. Oh, one bit of advice. Whatever happens, don't move. Stay put. One tiger's getting coming up. Good luck.
try it. On your marks. You want to know the order? Give me exactly three minutes, right? Push him along.
nicht näher, schnell! Rechts im Gebüsch! Wer da? He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Just oh. Harry, try, try to rest. Christian, Christian, where are you? Harry, Christian. I'm right here. Please try to try to sleep, Harry. The doctor will be here by morning. Okay. The train's coming. The train's coming, Christian. We've got to say goodbye. Harry, go to He's very good at sleep. Oh, Christian. We've got so much to remember. Uh, uh. Lacerations and shock. Nurse, we will commence a transfusion of plasma following the dosages of chloromycetine. May I be permitted to say that all will be most well under my tender care?
Excellent. Excellent. Fever retreats. Madam, I am very happy of this happy outcome. Plasma and chloromycin have triumphed in the grim battle. Are you quite comfortable? Oh, like a museum mummy. There is a difference of vital breath in you. You will be completely well very soon. I must be doing all right now. I'm as hungry as the devil. Excellent. Nurse, one half cup of savory broth. Hey, doctor, where's the rest of me? Safe and sound, Mr. Black. That is an excellent demodern type of artificial limb. Yeah, it's very good for walking, too. <laughs> Salam, Jab. Salam, Bapu. Does the doctor permit my entrance? A few minutes, no more. Mr. Black, I will look in again directly. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Is your honor feeling very well improved? Much. The bad one has not returned to Rimley. Was he hit? Yes, sir. There was blood. But he lives, hiding himself in the country of the mountains. He's past seven days. Do you mean to have been on your hands that long? Oh, Harry, we've loved having you. Seven days, but missing two hours, sir. It is this long since I had my last sup of whiskey wine. <laughs> the best calendar there is. Bapu's stomach. May I borrow a bottle from you to pay my debt? Twenty-one subs of whiskey wine. <laughs> of course. Even in bed, Your Honor remains a man of very kind stature. The obligation can wait, mademoiselle, until your very earliest convenience. Well, give me ten minutes. I just want to talk to Mr. Black. Uh, definitely. I will be waiting next to the whiskey wine cabinet. The one that is always locked. Perhaps you've had enough visitors for now. Oh, no. No, please, I'm fine. Desmond told me what happened. He always does after a while. And the misery becomes too much to hug to himself. You see, Harry, some men like you are made to stand fast and to fight. But the others... The Desmonds of this world, they have to go on trying to live in a society that despises that one awful human weakness, fear. Have you been happy, Christian? Well, well, there haven't been many flashes of lightning, if that's what you mean. But there's been something else, something deeper contentment. I think I've been and I am a very contented wife with two sons, one growing up, the other all grown. Look very like Michael. It sounds happy, the way you say it. Yes. I think it must be happiness. I haven't known any of the kind. I am sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's all right. I'm the one who's doing the interrupting, nurse. After the broth, Mr. Black will sleep. I will not. Yes, you will. I'll be back in to see you later. Now take your broth and go to sleep. It's odd. soon will be completely happy. Now I safely leave you in the most competent care of Nurse Rabat. Goodbye, Mr. Black. Thank you, Doctor. How much longer must I remain? It will be within your professional discretion. I'm afraid I haven't been exactly a model patient. Few people are. Is there any special reason you have to get back to Calcutta? Mr. Black. I merely ask the doctor for orders. I see no reason now to engage in your English game of 20 questions. I, I just wanted to know what particular attraction there is in Calcutta. Oh, come on, nurse. Didn't they teach you in school to cater to a patient's curiosity? If it will end your foolish game, Mr. Black, I am not interested in personal attachments. It's an awful waste. Yes, according to your Anglo-Saxon viewpoint, not ours. 
This romantic sex you love that persecutes you Westerners eventually becomes an old sour cup of tea. <laughs> we Indians manage so much better. With us, love is a nectar. It brings joy, Mr. Black, not sorrow. Hello, plain Harry. Hello, cowboy. Hey, that's a nice pony you got there. What do you call it? A donut. Mummy had to go over to Mrs. Johnson, so she said, could you help me with my Sunday lessons? Your Sunday le... Me? Mm-hmm. Oh, now, look, Michael Oldsport, it so happens that Nurse Rabbit and I were in the middle of the most important discussion. No, Otherwise, Mr. Black. Otherwise, I'd be happy. We had finished our discussion, remember? Mummy thought you'd try and get out of it, so she said I must insist. Oh, Mummy said that, did she? Mm-hmm. And, uh, are you insisting? Yes, I am. Please. All right, that's better. We'll see what we can do. Oh, hey, hey, uh, what are your Sunday lessons? You have to hear my Ten Commandments. Oh, your Ten Commandments. I just have to get Mummy's Bible. Uh, would you excuse us, nurse? Do you know them, Mr. Black? The sixth. The sixth. No, no, don't tell me. I wasn't going to. Is it the one about stealing? No, no, of course not. Isn't it the one about lying? Look, I'm not supposed to know it. You are. I know. You mustn't kill. Right. Give the young man a cigar. Now. Plain Harry, hmm? if you were walking through the jungle and you came across the man-eater, what would you do? Shoot him. But suppose you hadn't got a gun. Well, then I'd um, get up a tree as fast as I could. But suppose there weren't any trees. No. Is this part of the Sunday lesson? Oh, I'm sorry. Ask me another. Yes, yes, I will. Uh, what is the uh, tenth? Oh, dear, I know that one. It's a very long one about not coveting my neighbor's ox or ass, or manservant, or maidservant. In fact, you mustn't covet anything at all. <laughs> what does covet mean? Well, it means that you shouldn't want something that belongs to somebody else. Oh, I see. Plain Harry, would you help me with something? Sure, if I can. You know that bit about loving thy neighbor. What does neighbor mean exactly? What? Hi, Christian. Well, here we are, hard at work. You can take over now. I'm absolutely exhausted. All right, darling. Neighbor means someone who lives in the next house, next town or village, or the next country. Everybody around us. Everybody? Does that mean Sidney Johnson, too? Well, of course it does, darling. Why? I can't love Sidney Johnson. He absolutely stinks. Oh, Michael. Oh, that used to be a red flower. Didn't it, Mummy? Didn't it, Mummy? Yes, darling, it did. It was picked in a blackberry patch in Scotland long, long ago, even before I was born. Do you like blackberries? Yes. I used to, very much. Long, long ago. Darling, I think it's time for your tea. Run along. I'm sorry, Mummy, but nobody loves Sidney Johnson. He does stink, you know. <laughs> There's nothing much wrong with that young man. Oh, I'm so glad you like him, Harry. Why did you keep it, Christian? Because... Well, I don't know, Harry. Women collect all kinds of things. Knick-knacks from the cradle. I think that's enough for today. Will the sub sit? You think if I do and uh, moan it up a bit that Nurse Rabat might decide to stay here on the job? Groan or moan, the plane picks me up in two days. Well, then I might as well struggle quietly onto the veranda. I will take very first class care of the sub. You know, Bapu, you're not exactly the scenic type. Well, sub, three wives have thought very highly of my features. Three? That is a conservative estimate, sub. 
all at the same time. Oh, no, sir. Those days are gone. One after the other. Mm. Here's one man that uh, seems to have taken an over rationing of that nectar which you talk about. A conservative estimate, size. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, you should stick around here a little longer just for the laugh. That's the kind of medicine you need. Is that why you intend staying, Mr. Black? Just for the laughs? Oh, I sincerely apologize for what I have said. I hope you will forgive me. Oh, forget it. As a matter of fact, I'll be leaving here soon. This tiger is the last one. office must have thought a lot of you to make the offer. They're twice his present salary. I'm not exactly vice chairman yet. Lord Reynolds, chairman of the board, is flying to Calcutta to look me over. Who knows? One look and I might be right back here. Oh, put those kind of thoughts in your side pocket. Any man capable enough to run an outfit this size can certainly handle a vice chairmanship in London. <laughs> Convincing fellow, isn't he? You want me to try for it, don't you? But darling, I want whatever you want. You see, 12 years of being married to the ideal wife. Well, in honor of that, I'll go to Calcutta and give his lordship a look for a look, a, a glare for a glare. Look after yourself, Harry. Get well quickly. I will. Goodbye, Bapu. Goodbye, Nassab. Look, when I leave here, I'll, I'll call at the hospital, say hello, and thank you. If you wish. <coughs> yeah? Well, goodbye and good luck with tigers, Mr. Black. Inside and out. This is Pug Marks up. One hour past. I need four strong men to carry me up the pass. But, sir, are you very sick? Go on, tell them. Here, go by you. 
ये शेर का सबसे बड़ा शिकारी साहब आज बीमार है इसको उठा के ले जाने के लिए चार तंदुरुस्त आदमी चाहिए अरे भाई सुनो अभी अर्थ नहीं उठाने का है शेर इसको देख कर आएगा साहब उसको शूट करेगा नहीं नहीं ये हमारे धर्म के खिलाफ है ये हमारे हम यहाँ पर हरगिज नहीं होने देंगे कोई हालत से नहीं होने देंगे साहब दे स्पीक वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इट इज द रिलीजन टू क्विकली बर्न वॉट इज लेफ्ट ऑफ दाइल्ड बॉडी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन द मॉर्निंग यू टर्म द नाइट द बॉडी स्टेज हेयर When the tiger returns to finish his kill, I'll be waiting. I will tell him. On the other side, there is a cave, large enough for these men to hide themselves for tonight. Yeah, will you stay with them? Me stay with him? It's not proper for Bapu to hide himself, sir. It's only proper to stand by your side. Not this time. Now look, these fellows won't stick it without a nudge from you. Sir speaks the truth. You can use that platform to block up the entrance to the cave. Well, what are you waiting for? But the sabers not yet recovered from his wounds. I think Bapu stay. I think Bapu do what he's told. Now go on, get cracking. Been many flashes of lightning. That's what you mean. But there's been something else, something deeper. Contentment. Contentment. Oh, Christian, please. And you must be Harry. Sorry. We didn't dare believe your telegram saying you were arriving. We didn't think they'd ever let you out of that hospital. <laughs> Here's your bag, Sam. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mr. Wolsey, this is Colonel Black, who is with my husband in Germany. Oh, right. good morning, sir. I'll just put your bag in the uh, car. Quite all right. I can manage. Thank you. Bad? Oh, acts up now and again. Neuroma, I think it's called. Something to do with the nerve ends. Did you hear from Desmond recently? Oh, the last letter we got from him was February 14th. He was still wondering if we'd ever heard from you. It's been eight months, hasn't it? Just. Yeah, we were bunkmates for more than a year. May I ask you something? Of course. Why didn't Desmond leave with you and the others? Well, somebody had to stay behind in case the guards came knocking him. Desmond was elected. Oh. oh, and he never once bothered to explain that to us. <laughs> I'm very proud of him, Harry. Very, very proud. My favorite in-laws. How do you do? Thank you for visiting us. I can't tell you how much it means. Desmond's written so much about you. Well, he talked about both of you constantly. Is he well? Do they treat him well? Yes, to both questions. Hello, Harry. Hello, sir. Well, we'd better let Harry sit down and rest. He's poor. 
Oh, that's quite all right, Mrs. Tanner. Christian and I have an agreement. My tin leg is completely mentionable. <laughs> You're cheating. One always cheats when one picks blackberries. Here. Got something for you. Oh. Do you always charm ladies with flowers? No. I haven't given a flower to a girl since I was a subaltern. A what? Oh, I forgot you're a Canadian. Second lieutenant to you. <laughs> I wish I'd known you in those days. That was when you first met Desmond, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. In Calcutta. Was he always the same? No man is at 21. And yeah, we used to raise a lot of etc. together. And Harry Black called the tune? That's what you'd like to think. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was mean. I'm sorry. Sometimes you make me wonder if I'm human. Before we met, I used to sometimes wonder if you were. And now? So many different Harrys. But all together they make one very human Harry. I like to have young folks about the place. Do you live here alone? Well, I do now, but you should have known my boy. He was always laughing. He was in the Navy. I lost him at Dunkirk. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. You two got any children? <laughs> no. No. Should you know? Well, you're young, best time. War or no war? Sandy, you're no coming. Oh, I I'll have to go now. I have to take a party of fishing. Make yourselves at home. Don't, Christian, please. Oh, don't cry. My love. Please don't cry. Just one moment. Only one moment. I would have been all right, Harry. Except for that sad, kind man. Seeing we were so happy together. I would be crying now. You wouldn't have said those words, would you, Harry? No. Hold my hand, Harry. I thought I was learning Desmond again, through you, getting to know him. And then yesterday I realized that it wasn't Desmond I wanted to learn about at all. From the first moment your photograph came alive, I know in my mind and heart I was behaving in a very strange fashion to my friend. Is God angry with us, do you think? God knows we're only human. Harry, do you believe in God? I would. If I could live my life with you. We have everything to remember, Harry. Because we've had nothing at all. Only holding hands that one small time. I love your hand.
What is it, Saab? What is it? Saab? He's here. Babu, I'm at your side. The Saab is sick. I... I must have fallen asleep, Babu. I dreamt the man it was here. It was wrong to defy the sickness of your body. Whiskey wine. It will give you strength. It must have been a dream. I... I dreamt he was there. Right there. Drink this up and rest. I will keep watch until dawn. I'm sorry to send for Mem Saab, but there is great need. He's ill? From whiskey wine. Since morning yesterday. <laughs> the Saab shoots lizards. Get some soup started. It's already on the stove. <laughs> then heat it. Hot as blazes. Yes, Mem Saab. Harry? Harry, it's Christian. Go away. Go away! Harry doesn't live here anymore. I'm coming in. Oh, get out. get out. I don't want you to see me like this. Oh, no. Close it up. Until this whiskey stink blows out of here. Bapu, hurry up with that soup. Soup? You'll kill me. All right, I'll kill you. Give me. Hurry up. Hurry up. I want to tell you something. You are the only woman I ever liked in my whole life. Uh, you like lizards. Look what you do to them. Oh, I know. Isn't that awful? Poor little beggar. But I, I'm not scared of this. I'm not scared. Yes, I remember. I remember. Some men are made to stand fast and fight, not desperate. Only Harry. Men like you, Harry. No. No, not men like Harry. Not men like me. Harry's yellow. Yellow! He's scared. Oh, he's scared. Oh. Oh. What? His blazes, Mimsa. Too late. But sleep better than soup. Up the bottles, Harry. When you get cleaned up, there's some food waiting. Oh, I couldn't feel anything. Oh, Christian, I've got to have something to drink. Look, I've, I've got to have it. No. Oh, women. Oh. to do with this. Oh, Harry, I locked the bottles in the Land Rover.
Harry. Harry, please. Why don't you mind your own business? All I want is one drink. One stinking drink, just to get straightened out. All, all right, Harry. Harry, I'll get it for you if, if you promise to eat some food. Oh, never mind. To hell with it. All right, Harry, here's your property. All right, one, one drink. That who tells me I, I made you cry. You never did and you never will. I did once, long ago. Remember? No, I don't remember. One drink, you said, Harry. One stinking drink. Now, that's what you said. All right. All right, let's deal with these bottles. You're so fond of pistol practice and all that kind of thing. All right, let's see what you can do with bottles. You told me you were a coward. All right. All right, then, let's see if you have some courage. Let's see you shoot those bottles. Stinking whiskey bottles that make idiots out of strong men. Shooting for a shaky hand. I remember to tell you, you're a jolly kind liar. Most truthful, you are. Jolly kind truth. Yeah. Is that why you told the lady sorry I had a nightmare? Dreamt the bad one came up the pass? It was the way it happened. I told her the truth. First time I ever turned to jelly. Got myself a screaming meanies. Your honor has the understanding of the soldier. It is good to know fear. So that he may know courage. It's not good to know failure. Killing man-eaters was the one thing I could handle. Tomorrow or the next, when you are stronger in body, you will be again waiting for the bad one. With Babu at your side, to listen for his step, to smell out the evil spirits. No. No more tomorrows. I'm quitting, Bapu. Quitting? Is this why we ride to the government office? Yes. Look, Papu, I'd like to get you set up before I shove off. Unless you'd rather go back home. My home is with the sun. I'm going to a country that you wouldn't understand, Papu. And they wouldn't understand you. But your honor would. Your honor always understands Papu. This is different. 
can't be managed, sir. I'm sorry, Bapu, you just can't. Dismiss the government officer's car? Yes. Oh, meeting you is an act of mercy, sir. What can I do for you? Mrs. Tanner has been on the telephone. Mrs. Tanner? What does she want? Her son has been thrown from his horse. Is he hurt? The boy has not yet come, only the horse. A very frightened horse, which may have seen the tiger. Go on. Right, now you get it back on the phone until I'm on my way. Right. Yes, sir. Go on. Yes, sir. Running from the jungle. I want one other man. It'll be pitch dark in there in an hour. Yeah, I know. That's why I want you to carry the torch, Johnson. Well, I suppose There's no you... point in worrying your family, Mr. Johnson. I'll be going along anyway. I said a man. Michael Harry is my son. Which way do we go in, Bapu? All right. It is the bad one, Sam. He charged from here. Light, man, Sam. Light. The charge failed. Baba was thrown here. Can we call? Papu? Yes, sir. If the bad one is here, the bad one knows we are here. So call him, Sam. We must now move quickly. Come on. Keep the torch steady. Just ahead of Bapu. Michael! Michael, boy! Oh, please. Michael, please. 
Sapple, grab the torch, he's moving. Quick, Mr. Swing right. Too low and too far back. Harry! All right, put the light in the boy. my pony all right, Harry, is he? Yeah, he's as good as new. I remembered you told me tigers don't climb trees, so I got up there fast as light. Well, you're a good boy. Now, look, uh, you get over to your mother as fast as you can. She's been scared still. Go on. I'm fine, Mummy. I'm fine. Sub. A tap to the bad ones in a hair. Not much of a wound. It will heal quickly in the air of the mountain. Don't cry, Mummy. Please don't cry. I only lost my cat. That's all. Just my cat. Hey, Michael. You stay close to Battle, hmm? He'd got a wounded leg, so I got up a tree as fast as I could. And he kept on going round and round, and then I... All right, Michael. That's enough. We don't want to hear any more, darling. Put him to bed. Can't I stay up for some... No! Drop it. Drop the whole subject. Gosh, Mummy, all I got was a bruise where I was sitting. But I don't feel in the least bit sleepy. Michael, are you going to bed? But, Mommy, I... Michael, go to bed! Yeah, go on, Michael. You're a good, tough chap, but you've been a silly boy today. A good spank and into bed. A beating, Harry, not a spank. A beat him. Give him a beating! His father won't do it. His father's not mad enough to. Now, shut up and I say something again. Shut up! It's all your fault, my behaving this way. We were happy until you came. We were, we were. Mary, I, I am sorry. I said all those awful things. Oh, everything I say, everything I do is wrong. No. To me, nothing you do is wrong. But anyway, I... I do apologize. I don't think I've ever gone quite off like that before. Bad scare threw you into a mess of words and me into a mess of whiskey. We're both... Better off forgetting it. There's been so much to try to forget, hasn't there? Twelve years of trying. I'm afraid I... I haven't managed to. All right. All right. Better be 
getting back. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've got to ask you to drive me back. Do you mind? Oh, no, no, of course not. so much. Well dawn. I'm up. Good morning, Babu. Good morning, Saab. Saab has not slept? Oh, I'm just dozing a bit. Too much to think about. Is it permitted to ask why this Saab has thoughts in the darkness? Private reasons. I've also been thinking all night in the darkness, Saab. And I think that Saab is the greatest killer of all tigers. <laughs> I don't need your pep talk, Socrates. It wasn't the tiger that kept me awake. Now, you've got nothing more to worry about. No more screaming memes. That is very good to hear, Saab. All right, go and get our stuff back from the jeep. I'll be out in a minute. Yes, Saab, at once. There's been too much to think about. That it was all a bad mistake? Oh, no. It was no mistake at all. Oh, that's what I wanted to hear. In the cold light of day. In the cold light of day, my darling. I love you. Well, this won't take long. I'll be back soon. Careful. As a mouse.
He's in their sub, in their practice. I smell the evil of him. You get up above and take cover. Please, sir. It is your promise. If not in the new land, then here for the last time at your side, sir. Two steps behind. Take the torch. Thanks, sir. Two steps behind is almost at your side. Thank you. Spirits, Bapu is a good tiger now. Sir, is it permitted now to take the skin to show off to the villagers? Well, as Dr. Roy Chaudhry, MD, would say, it is permitted because I'm most happy over this happy outcome. Jolly good, sir. Jolly good. say hail the conquering hero? Did you get the brute? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thanks. Daddy, Daddy! Tell Harry, Daddy! Tell him! Daddy's going to be boss over everybody! Well, not quite, son. Almost. He is, Mummy, isn't he? Of course he is, darling. It's nice to be a hero in my own house. I got the job, Harry. Just the way you said I would. I'm glad. Daddy stood right up to Lord Reynolds. Look, I'm the hero of this story. Let me tell it. OK, I'll go and tell it to Bapu. Oh, Daddy, don't forget to tell Harry all the things Mummy, you and I are going to do in London. Yep, all the happy details. But first, we've got to celebrate a bit. You got your tiger. I suppose I can say I got mine. I brought some champagne back from Calcutta. Suddenly, it really is the cold light of day. 
They love each other terribly, Harry. Yes, I know. I... I tried to tell him. But the words wouldn't come. No, of course not. I couldn't smash his happiness. Michael's pride in him. Papu, ye hamko milne ko sek kahai? Yes, Jose Sab. You may ask, of course. Oh, yes, Michael. More than anything else, Michael. Well, here's the Tigers. There's more champagne on the ice. No, only one glass for me. I have to report to the district officer. Harry! Harry, where are you? I want to talk to you. Harry! Is it all right, Harry, is it? Babu says it's all up to you. What? May I have the tiger skin to take to London with me? <laughs> it's yours. It'll be at the district office. Gosh, Harry, I love you more than anyone else in the whole world, excepting only my mummy and daddy. Exception noted. What'll it be? Well, long happiness to all the tanners. No, to long contentment. For all of us. Contentment. Contentment. Well, I'd better be getting along. Cheers, Harry. See you before we leave. Yes, I'll be around. Very small drop here. Harry. You won't be around, will you? No. How many people did you say the Ranapur man-eater killed? 400 plus 67, sir. Uh-huh. I heard it was 167. 
the, the reports that came to my ears are the most recent, sir. It is 400... But even 100 plus 67, sir. With Bapu at my side? <laughs> yes, sir. With Bapu standing at your side. <laughs> <laughs> 